G'day YouTube. This is Super Cheap Auto and Blackridge for their uh, 155 litre per minute belt drive 50 litre air compressor. Now they sent me this for review just like all the other things you would have seen just recently on the channel um, to make my life easier and uh, to show off their product at the same time. Well review their product at the same time. I don't actually have to show it off. It's uh, more of a uh, straight up honest review. If this dies or falls apart whatever you will hear about it you will see why or what went wrong and uh, we'll go from there let's get into the box and we get front handle bag with two female nitto couplers two air filters of course twin piston In this package we have a rubber stopper, a wheel, a hubcap, and some wheel bolts. So we have two of those. So we can actually uh, bolt it all together. And uh, what I'll do first is I'll uh, get rid of all this packaging and we'll show you how to put it together. Alright, so as you can see it sits up, no worries at all, without any wheels on it. But uh, the back side over here where the wheels go is actually a little bit lower, it's a little bit tilted like that because the wheels are taller than the pump stop. Now what we might do first is go for air filters and the reason I say that is we want to make sure there's no grit or grime gets into the bores because these are uh, nice big twin piston, this big twin piston pump head. You see in there the filter's already pre-installed, it's all ready to go. All you have to do is screw it on. Don't have to go too tight, they will stay there. They don't have anywhere to go. They're not under pressure, they're under vacuum. Then we've got our two you know, female couplers. We will do them in a minute also. So the smaller bolt combo is for the uh, little rubber foot, they go on the front. The bigger bolt is actually your axle for your wheel, which is quite a substantial wheel, big thick plastic bit in the middle, rubber tread on the outside. I'm not sure if it doesn't appear to be a marking rubber tread, but I don't have anything smooth and polished to uh, rub it on out here. This is the shed, where work happens. So you want to slip your bolt through your wheel like so. Flat washer on that side. Best way I've found to do it is lean it over like so, so you don't actually have to hold any weight. And then flat washer, spring washer nut. That easy. Front one's even easier. All you literally have to do is uh, separate your couple of washers and your spring washer. Foot goes that way, bolt through the top. Or you can, you can go either way actually. Whichever you prefer. Bolt through the bottom will actually stay captive in there because the rubber's nice and tight on it. Slip under there, you don't have to hold any weight up, you don't have to uh, struggle with it. Flat washer, spring washer, and up. Uh. Alright, guys, when you got to this stage, you've got your compressor basically assembled. I've still got to just tighten up the back wheels and uh, put the hubcaps on, but uh, I will do that later. For now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to thread tape up these two outlet taps with their uh, Nido female fitting, couple fittings on there. We'll uh, tape them up first and um, 
then we will uh, fire her up for the first time, check its oil level and uh, make sure everything's running sweet. Alright guys, so we've got it pretty much assembled. Now, the thing to always remember with decent sized air compressors, with the really, really small direct drive ones, not so much an issue. When you start talking about these, this is two, two and a half, horse, two and a half horsepower. That's quite a substantial electric motor there. That they do pour a fair bit of power. You should always plug them directly into the outlet. It says it on the lead. Not a lot of people adhere to things like that. Do not use extension cords. Get a longer air hose. Super cheap stuff, some brilliant, great big long air hoses. We're going to review one next week, which is a uh, retractable. Buy a longer air hose. It'll save you so much hassle in the long run. Because it's not going to burn the motor out today, but it will burn it out in the future. And when, by the time it actually burns it out in the future, it'll probably be out of warranty. And then you're stuck with a burnt out motor on an air compressor. It's not what you want. Look after your air compressor, it'll look after you, and you'll get a lot of work done with it and do a lot of things for, uh, for a great price point compared to a more professional grade compressor. Now this is one of the biggest ones that Super Cheap sell, they do have one bigger, but um, for all intensive purposes this is about as big as it gets. So you want to just make sure that your two bungs up here are in and tight. You want to check your oil gauge. You can see that alright. It's going to be above that dot on a fairly level surface. This is your drain bung. Unload a valve. Check valve. Heat distribution pipe. You've got a fan, you've got a belt. You've got a nice big electric motor here. This electric motor looks like it's got a different fan and fan shroud on it compared to the old one. So that might be better for cooling, it might cool the motor a bit better. Pass the start motor. Righto. Let's uh, pull the cord for the first time and uh, listen to where we go. For the first time, the unloader valve stayed open for a long time. Uh, it's probably just only the first time it's ever been used. That's probably not super normal. It's actually quite a bit of suction on that fan there, so there's good airflow. Everything sounds good, it's very consistent. There you go, we're at pressure. Just under 120 psi, I believe it's set to 115 standard. Now after that first charge up, the crankcase of this is stone cold still. Sides of the boards have a little bit of heat in them, heads you can still touch. So because of the belt drive design, the pump's not doing a crazy like 2800 RPM like a uh, direct drive unit is. So they last a lot longer, so keep that in mind when you look at the price point difference and think this one makes less litres per minute than the 
I think there's a 180 litre per minute Black Ridge or a 220 or something. Anyway, this is 155. But this is going to make 155 for so much longer. The motor being separate to the pump, connected by a belt, keeps heat away from them. The twin piston design, lower RPM, cast iron bores I believe. Yeah, cast iron bores. It makes them last longer. Keep that in mind when you're purchasing one. Do you need one that's really small and compact and fast to fill? Or do you need one that's going to last the test of time? My other one's two and a half, three years old. I'll dig the invoice up and see if I can't correct myself. I'm pretty sure that's how old it is. And uh, still kicking. So what we'll do is we will do a head-to-head -head between the two of them. We will completely depressurize them and do a head-to-head -head and charge them up side by side and see how they're going. And uh, we'll look and see if they've made any changes between the old series and this series. Um, here. We will also connect this straight up to the new sandblasting um, cabinet that Super Cheap Auto provided me and um, show you how well this keeps up and uh, things like that. Important points to remember always use a longer air hose, plug straight into the mains. You don't want to overheat the motor, it's going to cost you a bunch of money um, to replace, and you just don't want this failing on you halfway through a good job. Alright, guys. Subscribe buttons up top right, some more videos on the top left, links to this and all the other air tools um, in the air tool category for Super Cheap Auto will be in the top of the video description. Thank you very much Super Cheap for sending me this to uh, review, we will do some more testing on it, we will see how it keeps up with things like air impact wrenches, changing tyres and uh, air sanders as well. Hopefully we get a long life out of this and it goes for a very long time. I will do a review in a few months time to uh, share with everyone how well it's been going and what, what, what we've got up to with it and uh, after all that we will uh, come to a conclusion of how good it is. If it fails you will hear about it, this is not a biased review, they did send it to me for free but I actually really really like the belt drive design already and uh, very happy to be able to review it openly and honestly and give you some tips for yours so it lasts a bit longer. Thanks heaps for watching guys, slap the like button if you liked the video, if you didn't like the video, yeah you know what to do. If you've got any questions about it or anything you think I should do to test it, drop them in the comments below and uh, I'll see if I can't answer your question. Thanks for watching, catch you on the next video.